right, you guys. So now it's finally come down to this. Last story is Shell. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Alright, so now we start playing. Uh, let's check up on Becca real quick. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Okay. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Cornfield. I hate that cornfield. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Alright, well, let's go around back and meet Roman. I think he's back here. What do we got in here? Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh... Your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. 
What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Alright. So, oh, look at this walker here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, I'm sorry I bothered you. Alright, let's take a look at what this walker's eating over here. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know what she's eating. Can I get a closer look? I'll probably get the same reaction. Hey, can I see what you're eating? Ugh. Oh. Righty then. Okay. I guess we go back inside. Stay away from that walker. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You never do you don't that. get all pissed off. Especially now. You just... you can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. If so care be there. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time, we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on but his way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. I don't know, guys. Some part of me wants to keep him. Or not keep him, but let him go. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that oh, goddamn boat. Them. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, we'd be a drain on our resources. 
Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. That's a tough one. And I don't know, it's gotta be one or the other. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Oh, man. I can't trust him. We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus. There really is no other choice, is there? That's exactly my point. We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. This month, but there's even a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't so risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Rebecca shouldn't be here for this. I really wanted to let him go, but uh, I just didn't want to risk it. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yes. Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Alright, I just want to start off by saying right now, if that guy didn't speak English and... It's not racist, but I'm just saying that I just can't trust him. If we can't communicate with him, then I just can't keep his word. Hey. Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word, escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. I have read up on this a little bit, saying that if you did let that guy go, Boyd here would have died during another raid attack from his people or whatever, but... I don't know. I have a feeling I might have to kill Stephanie. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. 
Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's at risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it! She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. No. I'll do it. I don't really have a choice, do I? You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? I don't know how to tell her this any other way. What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. No, Stephanie could be just scared. That's probably why she took all the stuff. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. I don't know what's gonna happen to Stephanie if I leave. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know, longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. Well, what do you guys think? Should I kill Stephanie or drive away? I'm more convinced that I should just leave this place, because... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Stephanie in Season 2, or if she'll even be in Season 2, but... Yes, I think I want to drive away. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe! Shell, hey! Shell! Are we safe? Shell, we What the fuck? God damn it!
Now I know I won't be appreciated into that group anymore. <laughs>